In this video we're going to look at typical earthworks activities. So the most common type of earthworks activity is cut to fill, uh, where you have a whole lot of soil in one area and you want to move it to another. Now that might be that you've got an undulating slope and you want to flatten it out, so you'll take the top part of the fill, uh, of the uh, material, you'll cut it, and then you'll move it to the bottom part uh, to construct a fill. So you're taking it from a cut area to a fill area. Now the operations typically involved uh, cutting, so that is cutting out the material, uh, hauling it, moving it to the new location, laying it, laying it in layers. You normally lay it in layers of about 200 to 300 mils. Any thicker than that uh, means you're not going to get proper compaction. Any thinner means you're wasting compactive effort. So 200 to 300 mils layers. So you've got to spread it out into an even layer somehow. Uh, then there's compaction, so once you've got it into that 200 to 300 mil layer, you are going to compact it using uh, compactors or rollers or something like that. And at the same time you'll be shaping, so the compaction and the shaping often happen together. You'll do the preliminary compaction to sort of bring it all up, but once you get to the surface, you'll be shaping it, and the compaction and um, shaping of the surface layer are normally carried out um, together, so there will be a compactor and a grader working together. In addition to those main things, sometimes you need to do wetting or drying. Uh, soil, uh, co cohesive soils, uh, clays and silts, need to be compacted at or close to the optimum moisture content. Uh, if it's too dry, then you need to wet it up. And if it's too wet, you need to dry it out. And we'll look at those later on, those operations. Now that can happen uh, before you do the hauling. It can happen after you've done the laying, after you've laid it out in nice, uh, nice areas, and uh, sorry, and uh, nice layers, or it can be just before you do the compaction. So there's different times when you might be doing the, the cutting or drying, uh, sorry, the wetting or drying. Uh, most common is when it's all laid out, ready to go. That's when you'll probably start correcting that moisture content and then start doing the compaction immediately after. In addition to that, it might be that the soil is too soft for the loads it needs to carry. Now that might be because the soil itself is, is, is a soft soil, or it might be because the loads are quite high, as in say a building foundation, or it may be a combination of both, whatever. The designer finds that the soil, as it is, even with decent compaction, isn't going to come up to the required strength. And the way to make it stronger uh, is there's different ways of doing it. You can add extra compaction, we'll look at that more later on, or you can stabilize it. You can add lime or cement to it. Uh, lime is what you normally add to uh, cohesive soils and cement uh, non-cohesive sands and gravels, but that's just a rule of thumb. Sometimes you use it for, for either. Um, so you add it to that, you mix it all in, uh, you add water, uh, and then you've activated the lime or the cement and it will set into a pretty hard material. So you're mixing the lime um, with the soil, mixing it all together, adding water and then it sets into a very very hard material on the top. And that usually happens, you lay it uh, after laying, so you lay it, you put the lime over top, you'll mix it all up, uh, set the stabilization process in place and then you need to compact it and shape it very quickly because once it is um, hardened, it is very hard to shape. So you need to do that all in one process. So that's cut to fill. Um, one thing I point out is later on we're going to look at excavation. That's when you're just digging a deep hole. Um, the line between, well, there's no line between cutting and excavation. Sometimes something's cutting tending towards being excavation. Sometimes it's excavation looks like cutting. So. Um, we'll be talking about excavation when we get into um, foundations and um, under, underground structures. So just keep in mind that excavation, digging a deep hole, is a little bit different from the earthworks as we're defining it in this course. Now in addition to the cut to fill, you've got um, cutting alone. So what you do is you cut the material and then you haul it off site. You're not trying to, you haven't got any fill. Uh, or you've got an unbalanced cut to fill, so you've got some fill but not much. So you need to cut it and then haul it off site. So that means you need to use road trucks like these here um, to 
haul it uh, off to an off-site location. Oftentimes we use track and trailer units because the off-site location, like what's doing here, uh, the off-site location could be at quite a distance and it's more efficient to uh, haul a whole lot of as much um, soil as you possibly can. So a track and trailer allows you to do that. Uh, alternatively, it may be that you don't have enough cut material or you don't have any cut material on site and it's um, you need to import fill. So in this case you're hauling fill from on site and once again you're using trucks or trucks and trailer units and then you go through those other processes, laying, compaction, shaping and you may be doing the wetting and drying later on. Uh, if it is a bit wet you would be drying it out um, at the, the um, burrow area uh, off site that's probably the best way to do it. Last thing you want to do is if you've got a wet soil to be transporting wet materials because you've just got extra weight there, extra cost it's better to dry it at the um, where you're digging it out uh, and then haul it rather than haul it then dry it out but sometimes you've got no choice to do it that other way.